Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Photoshop CS5 Extended How to Create YouTube Channel Background Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 2, you can click right here and you can follow along and watch Part 1 and you'll be able to follow along with Part 2 pretty easily. So let me just get this off and I'll show you where we left off. Um, like so. So this is where we left off last time, we set up our background gradient and we also set it up our texture in the background. And as you can tell I also added my logo right here, um, which is pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to add your logo to this then you should really go back and check out my um, complete beginning series. So as you can tell I added the gradient to this so if you want to copy the same gradient I'll just show you really quickly what it looks like and how you should set it up so this is what it looks like I'm just going to quickly click on these stops so you can see the color code which is RGB and this is the color code if you want to copy the exact same color so I'm just going to quickly double click on these stops and if you want the color code then you can obviously stop the video and copy the exact same ones so this is the fourth stop and this is the fifth one Okay. so what we're going to do is obviously we're going to have to turn this around and uh, put it on the side so that's the first thing that I'm going to do so I'm just going to control T hold down shift and drag and now it turned around but as you notice another thing it also done is it didn't turn our gradient so it looks wrong at the moment so what we're going to do is we're just going to come into here and as you can see where the angle is we're going to change this to zero degrees and I'm just going to unreverse this and it will look exactly how I want it to be click OK so now that I got my text sorted, another thing I want to do is I want to change the colour of my background because I sort of changed my mind overnight of what sort of the design we're going to be creating. So I'm just going to double click on it here, go to gradient overlay, and I'm going to pick my lighter stop and have the colour as 321C0F and the darker one are going to be using 090503 another thing I'm also going to do is increase the scale of this to about 30% should do it just about right Yep. so now I've got my background sorted again i got my um, logo in there and what I want to add to this is I want to add the software a smoky um, effect right here so how do we create that it's quite simple to create you would be surprised so what we're going to do is make a new layer on top of our background group like so and then if you go to filter render clouds as you can tell it's sort of uh, it's it rendered us a sort of a cloud which looks quite bad to be honest but we can use this to make things a bit better so another thing I'm going to do is go to filter and go to blur Gaussian blur and I'm just going to blur this a tiny bit so only about 5 pixels you don't want to overkill it with about 20 pixels um, or actually you don't even have to use Gaussian blur if you don't want to but I do so I'm just going to add 5 um, pixel radius Gaussian blur to this so once we've done that what we're going to do is just change the layer style to color dodge and as you can tell now our smoke is sort of looking a bit better but obviously I don't want it on this side I only want it on this side around this area so what I'm going to do is just select my rectangular marquee tool and everything from down here to the right I'm just going to delete because I'm not going to need that and the next thing I'm going to do is press E on my keyboard to bring up my eraser and as you can tell I've got a fairly big sized um, 
eraser selected with zero hardness and it has a fairly soft um, edge like this one. I'm also going to turn my opacity up to about 100% and actually I'll probably turn it down a bit about 70% should do it and I'm just going to erase the areas that oh, I'm not going to be using so around up here and also this bit is a bit too much so next what I'm going to do is I'll just move around where I want this to be and start erasing a bit more that I don't really want to be using for my design so now that it's looking pretty cool another thing I'm going to do it looks a bit too light around here so I'm just going to turn the opacity down to about 25-30% just going to tap on there gently to make it a bit um, darker so it doesn't stand out too much I'll move around a bit more again and that looks about right but I still want uh, I wanted a bit more up here as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate my layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this like so and put it on the other side as well maybe like so but as you can tell around here I'll actually turn it a bit more which might be a bit useful um, like so and then just move around again to about roughly here right that should do it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge these two layers Control E and as you can tell our layer style resetted so we're just going to put our layer style back to color dodge and we're going to start erasing again actually before you do this um, before you merge you can keep the two um, unmerged and before you merge them or change anything you can just um, erase the bits that you don't want because um, it might make your life easier so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to select my bottom layer again and start erasing make it a bit lighter so it doesn't stand out too much um, and that looks about right to me so I'm just going to move both of these up to about roughly here and turn the opacity down a tiny bit about 85 percent so now that I got my fairly cool smoky effect going on here what we're going to be doing is we're just going to add the logo that we created or if you haven't created you can check out the tutorial for it um, to create something that looks similar to this or exactly like this um, I'll put a link right here and then you can follow along with the tutorial if you want to create a logo like this and then obviously you'll be able to use this in this tutorial for your channel so I'm just going to paste my um, logo into here and just make it a bit smaller like so, actually quite a lot smaller I'm just going to start moving it around so it fits the exact space where I want it to be I want it exactly here so I'm going to click enter and another thing I want to make is um, I just want to add this uh, a tiny bit of uh, an outer glow just to make it stand out a little bit not too much so opacity 75% blend mode screen you can increase the size of this if you want it to be bigger I don't know I want to keep it at 5 pixels because if I increase any more let's say 10 pixels it sort of takes away the attention from um, that black edge and it I don't know I don't think it makes it look any good so I'm just going to keep it at 5 um, pixels and now that we got our logo added we also created a smoke and we added another logo on the top 
so this is it for this part guys I hope you enjoyed it be sure you leave a like comment subscribe and favorite and I'll see you guys in the next part where we're gonna add our other text on the other side we're also gonna be creating some um, buttons for um, Twitter and Facebook and I'll show you exactly how to do that it's very simple and then our channel layout is nearly finished so see you guys in the next episode